uh, game watch's hitboxes, and honestly, his punish game was good. It just it didn't quite stack up, but I think he more than made up for it by just like having a solid advantage shape to back it. But yeah, what's yeah. we get in the winners finals? Oh uh, yeah, we got Kloon versus JDV. You already know, Jose came to play. That is to get Corn Cycle into lose his semis. So that's top four for him. That's is that payout? I have no, I have no idea. <laughs> I've never I, made it this hey, far into a bracket not, before. I don't know. Yeah, I'm, I'm not familiar with getting payout at tournaments like this. Yeah. Uh, so <laughs> uh, that that's why I'm on comms. Oh but, yeah. But I mean, if I if I had to wager a guess, it's probably either like top three, top three or top, or top four. four. Yeah. At an event so he's size. either there or almost there. Regardless, though, you probably gotta be feeling pretty good to make it like right. in the top four of a. And we got Kloon starting out with Yoshi. I am not entirely sure if this is his best character in this matchup. I know that this is his main almost, so. I mean, we'll, we'll see how it goes. Game one, GS2. Three right, gone did it. Did he catch the melon there? Damn. Yeah. Yoshi is just packing, packing the food right now. He's got the eggs, he's got the melon. Going out for a little picnic. JDB does not care though, he's looking to crash the party. He wants his melon back. Right, he wants it back so badly, and he's not going to get it. Well, it Sir, you are does. not invited to the party. I, unfortunately. All right, JDB attacking on the percent though. Like, it's funny, because Kloon definitely got that first hit and started running away, but <gasps> JDB did not care. Kloon catching the bell. Okay, this could be very, very clutch here for Kloon. Yeah, Kloon honestly doing no. a pretty good job of like catching the fruits. It just, it feels like he hasn't really he hasn't capitalized been, hard off of it. Yeah, yet. he needs to try and find a way to capitalize off of it. Wow, yeah. Kloon's getting sent far by that fire hydrant. The yep. key! Key is online. The key to victory. The key to victory. Unfortunately, <gasps> not, oh. gonna, not gonna unlock the door there. Yeah. But. Speaking of doors. Oh, yeah. ADV just sitting in the corner there. Ooh, oh, Kloon. good. Good use by that bell. Yeah, Bro, Bro actually bit. found the thousand year door into the blast zone. Yeah, Kloon getting a little bit too comfortable trying to grab those uh, fruit. But honestly, like, it's probably the best idea to stay comfortable, but you can't get caught lacking. Right. And JDB is going to oh take God. the first stop, and you know the vibes. Oh, oh my goodness, stop. the conversions. You know the vibes. Honestly, not even camping up. Just go for the kill right now. Yeah, he does not hear. He's, he's going in. Yeah, Actually, he does not know the vibes, but that's okay because he's going to use his own vibes. Yeah, JDB looking like a wall to overcome right Ooh, now. Ooh, back air not going to do it quite yeah, yet. Yeah, gets a bell into the drive-by. All right, just trying to apply some platform pressure. And honestly, that up smash is pretty safe, all things considered. All right, gets the grab off the whiff up smash, and JDB already lapping oh, JDB percent. catches the bell into the F smash. Oh my gosh. Out of all the Kloon Yoshi F smashes I've seen, where he will just throw it out, that's probably the best F smash I've seen out of him, like, ever. Yeah, I mean, he's throwing out his fair share of F smashes. He likes that move no matter what character he's playing. Yeah. But JDB... Getting a taste of it there. All right, Kloon gets the conversion started. Not gonna get a whole lot off of it. Ooh, is back throw gonna kill here? Not no, Yoshi's a bit too heavy for that. Yeah, Yoshi. Yoshi definitely not skipping any meals there. Yeah, gonna Yoshi be onto the stock. Almost at 200. percent I feel like you don't really see people who aren't like heavies live this live this long. Yoshi's actually a pretty heavy character, so uh, all things considered. Also, uh -huh. JV hasn't hit him with any like. Super duper kill moves. I right, think. we gotta see a back air. We gotta see a a bell, a key, maybe even an apple. Yeah, or a see. back throw. Oh, up throw goes for oh, the up, up throw. throw. I'm not gonna do it, but that yep, key. I was just talking about the key. Yeah. Egg, yeah. egg roll. Yeah. Okay. Very, very interesting. Yeah. Oh my goodness, spot yeah. dodging out of that spot situation. Dodging. Mitch is the S smash, but not gonna get punished for it. Oh, comes out the Galaxian. I wonder if he still has it. Probably not. Probably. Yeah, he's probably not. I don't think he has it. Whoa! Whoa. The hit lag from the fruit there. Yeah, that looked on. that looked strange. Crazy hit lag. Ooh, Ooh that's just, gonna do it. And Kloon oh swinging for the hills with those forward airs, and he's going yeah, to hit the mark. That was so risky because I didn't think he had his jump either, did he? Uh, I'm not sure. I wasn't keeping track of JDV's resources. But regardless, we're gonna be losing that stock. Still has the percent lead, but Kloon keeping it close. 
Right. Ooh. What did I say? Like, tax on the percent. Left GDV. Yeah, that that's about a Mithra combo in percent right there. Just in one move. That's oh how my insane goodness. that is. Oh my gosh, Ooh, hold on. Just looking to steal this game back. That's the oh down B on the shield. down B. 127 up. percent on it answered. All right, what's the call you here? You know that he's. You know that Clune is looking for that F smash. You can already tell. Yeah, JDV. Just, he's looking to. He's picking and choosing his spots. He's trying to. Trying to look for something. But despite his high percent, he's he's kind of going in there. He's. He's still remaining threatening. Good job by Clue to avoid that bell there. Yeah, alright. GDV in the corner. I don't know. I don't know what he's dash attacking oh, at. Oh! Doesn't get the up smash! Oh my gosh. GDB. Barely gonna miss that up smash, yeah. But gets the, gets this... the hydrant up smash there. Alright, Clue. Ooh, steals the bell steals in the last bell. stock, last hit. Okay, this he's is just, just so dangerous there. for Pac Man because he's not gonna have his fruit. Yeah, but, Ooh, right. Z drop. Oh, oh, and what a call out on that landing. Good, JD. good call out on that F smash from JDV. The, the top player clutch factor. Yeah. Play. That's the number one on PR clutch factor right there. Yeah, now that was definitely far armor if I've ever seen it, but Cluden kept that close. He, he's got victory in his, in his sights, you can tell. Right. He's definitely playing hot tonight. I think... With how close that game one is, I don't think Clint switches here, and he doesn't. Oh yeah, no, that was uh, that was way too close for him to like want to switch off. Granted, I'm not Clint, so I don't know what's I don't know his exact mindset when it comes to switching around, but oh no no no, trust me, he's gonna go K roll. Uh, totally, bit totally. Of a tall order against uh, Pac Man, but right now. JDB looking to get his own back after that game. Ooh. Saying that was a little too close for comfort, two, but... Three. All right, a lot of back and forth from both these players, and a much more salt, like a much more even start than last game, I should say. Oh yeah. And then Clune just getting oh, the ooh, call, Clune gets getting the F's, the the forward air. Hold on. Yeah, catches the air dog back back to stage, and okay, that, was, that was such a great catch by Clune. Ooh. All right, JDB getting the grab though. Not getting gonna... the grab. We're trying to hit it. Trying, trying to hit, to hit his hydrant. Yeah, I think the Smashville platform might be a little too big for that. Yeah, maybe that might have gotten a little hit a little bit too hard by that forward area. It wasn't quite able to hit the mole. Oh my gosh! Wait, is JDB dead there? No. Nah, he makes that back. Yeah, he makes that back. He's Pac-Man. No. Oh, we're trying to just end it with the F. I'm not sure if that was supposed to be an F. Yeah, and JDB just throwing that F smash out. I can't believe that kill. <laughs> I don't know how that killed. It's from across the stage. Pac-Man S smash is way too strong, dude. Yeah. Right, Ooh, holding on to this lead. All right, trying to threaten with the forward air. Coming up ledge there, but he's be going to make his way back on. He's just he's kind of sitting in the corner, Apple. waiting for Clune to either give up positioning or just like whip something in his vicinity. <gasps> oh, oh, the shield break! Oh my gosh! Goodbye. I, I, goodbye. There's your shield. There's your stock. They're both gone. Oh, bye bye. Wait. All right, Clune holding on to the lead very well this game. I think Smashville definitely putting in work, making it so like he doesn't have to close the distance nearly as often to get an opening. And we've already seen that Kuhn has his conversions on deck. But JDB is still... JDB, that bell barely missing Kuhn there. Yeah. Oof. JDB looking to keep this close though. He's not making it... Not making it easy for Kuhn, that's for sure. Uh, oh. Alright, guess the grab on the approach. It looks like JDB's flubbing a little bit with the Hydrant play, it seems like. Right, you usually expect like him to get so much off of the hydrant, but he's not getting as much. I wonder yeah. if this is just Clune knowing the matchup a little better, or just yeah. I mean, it, it might just be a little bit of cracking in the composure from JDB. Maybe Clune looking poised to take this game, just work like moving around the hydrant really well, just getting bring well off of his openings and everything. Ooh, there's the bell in the F smash from JDB. Yeah, he has something to say. Yeah, he has something to say about that. I mean, he definitely clutched out the last game to see if he can do it again. And since it's one stock to one stock, it's still definitely very, very doable for both players. Yeah. He can't be giving out too many freebies. He's got to 
It's gonna make Jose work for it. Right. All right. Gets tries to get an apple conversion. Almost gets the dash of the conversion. Oh my gosh. Clune this time catching the landing on JDV with the up smash. And it's one to one. Clune was very solid in most of that game. Uh, JDV definitely like again. Yeah, he wasn't giving out any freebies, but Clune was just like capitalizing really hard off the few openings he got. Yeah, he was just doing such a better job of just kind of everything. Oh my gosh, this song is such a banger. Mirror Temple, Celeste. Yeah, this is, I think this is the B-side too. Yeah, it is. Oh my gosh, I remember it because in Celeste, the B-side, doing the B-side is faster than doing the A-side. You have to like go get the B-side through the A-side, then do the B-side, and it's like a few minutes faster. All right. Don't mean to cut you off, but that is a little B-side to the point. Oh, Sorry for true. the point there, but yeah. Oh my goodness, JDB Ooh. cooking with oh my gosh, first 70. What? Oh. oh my gosh. Okay. He's he's, he's, looking. he's, he's cooking. He's going to town. Oh, oh no. He, he missed the F-Smash. No. Yeah, that he, is not what you want to see if you're JDB. Yes. That could have been such a cool clip. Oh my god. Yeah, but still, still has Kloon like off stage. Oh my god. We're going to clean very, up that very, stock. even with those few mistakes, still a very, very solid stock for JDB. Is Plume yeah, going to work with those up airs? Yeah, JDB off to a really strong start. So Plume trying to kind of work at a disadvantage here, but yeah, that, JDB's definitely been running the show for most of this game. Right. All right and this good. is. Yeah, JDV has a little bit over oh, Galaxian. Oh, the Galaxian coming out. JDV saw how that game two ended and, and said, not again. I'm not letting this happen again. Alright, JDV again just able to he's been winning all of these scrap situations, it seems like. Which My is definitely definitely a turnaround from the last game. Right. Oh, oh alright, trying, trying oh. to launch the JDV cannon. The JDV cannon, that's... I feel like that's something... Oh, oh good uh, good forward air from Clune. Yeah. Now, he's down 150%. Yeah, definitely 160%. He's got to try and find a way to, like, rack up some sort of damage there. Maybe a little more than 8%? Oh, he gets personally... cross up, but the high train going to mess with both players there, Ooh, it seems yeah. like. Yeah, trying to get an opening off that down air. If he can get a good hit of down air, right. he can just combo into another down air. Okay. That's a game, but... Oh. Unfortunately, that key going to take that song. Yeah, that was just such good placement from the key. Yeah, JDB hasn't has yet to really crack this game. Right. Definitely looking real dominant. Oh, oh my, my gosh. goodness! Yoshi so is much just damage. Scrambled. Ninety, a hundred percent, almost unanswered. All from like JDB. one opening too. Oh my goodness, the double oh parry. JDB does on. not care. The bell? Okay, Kloon catches the bell there. This could generally be such a bad position for Pac-Man. Oh my goodness, oh, like wow. full okay. charge F smash there. Full charge F smash not going to do probably as much as it should, but like... Yeah, Kloon, for being down... Oh my goodness, he oh just caught God. the orange. He just straight up caught that. Just stood there and caught it. Yeah, Kloon yeah, a little bit... Too comfortable swing in there. Right, and JDV just how ranging Clune there with the F smash. Yeah, definitely, definitely a clap back from the last game. Oh yeah. Honestly, the music counter pick might have helped JDV there. Just Maybe. saying, that's the power of Celeste, the Celeste OST. May have. Shout out to FTP with the music mod pack. Yeah, shout out to FTP. Oh my gosh. Getting in the game four though, let's see if Kloon can bounce back from that game. I think like with how good he was looking uh game two, like definitely has what it takes. And also like he kept game one ridiculously close too. But oh my goodness, so many up tilts. I think he caught the double jump early. Ooh yeah. I didn't know you could chain Pac-Man up tilt like that. That's actually kinda crazy. Yeah, it's it's almost like Smash 4 Mario up tilt, if, except it doesn't have a scooping inbox. Oh uh, yeah. All right, has Galaxian in hand, just chucking it out, trying to catch something. And again, JDV just, JDV just catching, just 
doing just having just so much with the up smashes. Oh my like, goodness, he he tried to call out the uh the bell grab from Clune there because he he was kind of trying to like plant the bait. But... Right, but Clune still does have the bell though. This could be very very dangerous for JDD. Yeah, he's not quite sitting that kill percent quite yet, but like. Definitely don't want to get hit by your own bell. Yeah, and you definitely want to use utilize your fruit. JDV right now, with Clune having his bell, does not have his fruit. Oh now he now he has his fruit back. Clune did not swing there for such a long time. He really wanted to hit that yeah, bell. Yeah, he needed to hit that bell almost. Oh my goodness. From JDV. So many F smashes. He's from just out hitting of those. He hits those. Almost like so many of them have been from like out of uh, out of the corner or out of disadvantage too. Oh my goodness, finally gonna good. Get yeah, good call out on the down B from Clint there. He's just utilizing these down Bs. <gasps> oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. I don't pushing him off stage. JDV. What is JDV cooking? Oh, he's going under the stage. I don't feel like I've ever seen Pac-Man do that. Like it's always either Pikachu or Diddy Kong or like I, I sometimes think, Piranha Plant. I don't think but Pac-Man's like, usually any like position where he like wants to do that. Oh, try he, JDB's trying to he end that. He really stock. wanted to end the stock. He wants to take it. He wants to take himself into grands. He's not gonna be able to do it quite yet, though. He is looking poised though. Ooh. Not gonna get hit by yeah. that match. Back throw not doing it quite yet. clue has gotta make something happen. Right? Say that. Gets that forward yeah, air. Gets the forward air. Alright, doing a little bit of damage control. Yeah, he's got to do something here. Oh my gosh, rolling right through the grab is JDB. Yeah, JDB just chucking out that bell. He does not care. And he he's been he's been tracing Clune really well in disadvantage too. Right, he's just like completely just reading him and exactly re knowing what he wants to do. Oh, 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 oh my God, the up tilt hit the bell instead of Clune. Oh no, that's so sad. But the back throw. Again, not quite doing it. He still has him in the corner. Where does it say that, though? Finally going to drop the pressure a little bit. JDB, pretty comfortable, 42%. And able to get out of the corner pretty consistently. Oh my god, and Plume just dies to the fire hydrant. There was so much coverage that JDB was just putting out there that I feel like it was impossible for Plume oh not goodness. to get hit. So much damage coming off in that down air, and that shield not looking too healthy from JDB's side, but yeah, still has the stock lead. And Yoshi still, down air is just that crazy. You, you do not want to be trading in this last hit, or last stock situation if, if you're uh, yeah. JDB definitely looking to capitalize off it. He might be getting hit a lot, but he's also he's just trading so much. He's maintaining that lead. That's what matters. Gets the Galaxian. Going to go for a second hit. Gets the side Oh, beat. my gosh. Oh, my gosh. The double jump armor. Kill. What? A hop, the skip, F and an smash. F smash. Oh, my gosh. Is in brands. Yeah, just the jump over F smash from JDV. I've just, I've just been seeing so much of that from not just him, but, like, from everybody.